Hello everyone, it's been a while since I put out a video, so I decided to show you what updates I've made to the werewolf deck that I showed last time. Still have a few more ideas that I plan to, you know, incorporate into this deck, but I'm going to show you the current version of it. It's a little bit stronger than the one that I showed you last time. So you can see that I still have the, the eight uh, one mana drops, the four wolf bitten captives and the four reckless waves. I've added two Ranger's Guiles. Uh, now, the meaning behind those is it's a one mana drop that actually gives Hexproof to your creature and buffs it with 1-1. Uh, one, one. So, you know, it works pretty well uh, whenever your, cre uh, your opponent decides to play um, removal on your creatures, uh, especially ones that exile them, because uh, otherwise you can just regenerate them with the full moon's rise. But in this case, uh, you can actually, you know, uh, play with your opponent. Um, you can you can counter Oblivion Rings and uh, uh, Vapor Snags and so on. So I've added three Incinerates now. Uh, I play those because uh, mainly because uh, I want to you know quickly finish my opponent. It it's um, you know very often no matter of uh, three more damage or not, and as well. I, I want to deal with uh, Marin Crusaders whenever they come out and because they have protection from green and uh, black and I may not have a, a, you know, a red creature out to actually you know, counter them and they're double strikers so uh, this one deals with them pretty well uh, and not only, I mean it removes a bunch of other creatures and whatever else you want I've, um, I'm using only three full moons rises right now but it's my idea to bring them back up to four and um, that's mainly because I want to add more uh, mass removal uh, spells. And whenever I play those, I can actually regenerate my own creatures and remove uh, the enemy creatures. I currently play one with Flare. And uh, this one is, uh, you know, I added it mostly because of uh, Delver decks. Um, in most cases, you know, uh, you want to remove their geese or uh, you want to remove the, the bunch of spirits that they made with... Uh, Midnight Haunting, or with uh, the, uh, what was the other one called, um, the sorcery that has uh, flashback in black, uh, I don't remember right now, okay, and uh, I do use the four moon mists, okay, those those are really good mechanic for this deck, if you, uh, you can use it as a fog, you can, you know, um, use it as a combat mechanic, uh, whatever you want, the four mirrors, again, again, those put wolves so you know pretty strong buff your creatures uh you know the counterpart of the immortal wolf whenever they uh, flip otherwise they buff um, only on the one side and here are my wolf tokens i actually got got this uh, promo token that is a uh, human on one side the um, wolf on the other side i hope you got it too it was on friday night magic uh, i guess uh two weeks ago and then I have the four crewing outlaws, <laughs> those win my games uh, most often of all. Uh, you know, when it flips, it's just insane. Okay, you see, you see the flipped crewing and you know that somebody dies next turn, <laughs> whether it's me or my opponent. You know, maybe he can, you know, kill me before I kill him. Uh, the four Emer wolves um, still in my deck. I, I still use the three Garak Relentless. I guess last time I showed you there were two. Um, they they do help the deck very well, um, you know they they act as a removal, they they create wolves, uh, you know the, those are with synergy with the all of the rest of the cards, so pretty strong. Okay, and then I I'm using only one instigator gang. Um, this one actually um, most often I prefer to play something else whenever I have four mana. So I decided to bring the creatures at four mana down to you know one, and the three Garaks. The Garak can can uh, act as a tutor and actually draw your instigator gang. But most often in that case, you are already at the point where you know you don't need the instigator gang. You need something else, and uh, you wanna you wanna draw a different card. But still, you can you can use the Garak, or you can just draw the instigator gang. Um, okay. Still four rootbound crags and the four couple line gorges, six mountains, six forests, and the uh, the three Kessikul friends. I've um, I brought down the number of lands to twenty three. I decided twenty four are way too many. Okay.
And now here's the sideboard. I didn't show a sideboard last time. Uh, this one is pretty generic. I didn't, I didn't put too much into it. So I have um, three ancient grudges. I think I need only two. I, have, I, I never sideboard three. So I guess I'm just going to remove one. Put a different card. Maybe, you know, uh, a slag storm or something like that. Three Ultim's Veils. Those, those are not too many. Three are, three are a good number. Uh, three Combusts. Okay, so the Combust uh, deals uh, five damage target to white or blue creature and it cannot be countered. So this one is really strong against uh, white blue humans, uh, just humans, or against uh, the white blue Delver. It, it cannot be countered. It's still stronger than the Incinerate against the white blue Delver. And, uh, of course, this one does not remove the Geist of Saint Traft, but, you know, it's it's pretty good. Then, three Naturalizes. Uh, I, I do need those. Again, again against the humans. And uh, I play them a bunch of, uh, against a bunch of different decks that, you know, use enchantments and artifacts. Whenever I decide, you know, oh, um, ancient grudges are only artifact, but, uh, you know, this guy has uh, enchantments and artifacts, I'm going to play... The naturalize and then the three uh grave diggers cage so uh zombie decks um anything that plays snapcasters um you know anything of that sort so what the grave digger diggers cage does is it doesn't allow creatures to enter play from uh graveyards or libraries and also uh, spells to be played from grave graveyards or libraries very strong sideboard Okay, so that's for me today, and I'm probably going to show uh, one more uh, deck uh, that I recently made. I still don't have all the cards for it, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm still going to show it. I think it's pretty strong. And, uh, and to not forget to mention, my idea about this deck now is to actually put more spells like the Whip Flare. Um, I probably, I, I'm going to put more Slack Storms and maybe one more Whip Flare. And then I'm going to, uh, you know, bring back the, the other Full Moon's Rise. I'm probably going to remove the Ranger's Guiles and, uh, you know, uh, probably one or two other creatures. And I'm going to play for, you know, uh, having the Mass Removal, which always, you know, gets out of bad position. And then um, being able to regenerate my own creatures whenever I play, play the damage, uh, you know, the Mass Removal. All right. So that's it for, for this deck. I hope you like it. See you guys.